The Forbes Shark Cabins is Fort Park's only on-site accommodation. For those that want to spend the entire day and night at Fort Park, this is the only place to go. So you want to visit Fort Park and are considering the Shark Cabins as a rendezvous? Well this video will try and help you make a decision on the accommodation. Constructed in 2012, the Shark Cabins is known as a hotel like no other mainly because it has a unique shipping container exterior design. The rooms range from £47 per person and offer free second day park entry and breakfast, as well as car parking for those that have driven there. The shark cabins are just to the right of Fort Park's Dome, which is noticeably on the other side of the turnstiles. You can organise collection of your keys from 3pm onwards, which of course raises questions about how you will actually do this when the park is open. Rest assured, Fort Park has somewhat of a plan in place for that. To collect your keys, you need to first follow the Fort Park's entry procedures complete with bag check, but once you are past that security point, you will have to access the building on the right hand side of the entrance, here. It is there where you show your booking confirmation and are allowed through past the turnstiles into the park. Once through, you head down to the shark cabins to the reception, where they hand you your hotel room key along with wristbands for each guest, saying which day your stay ends. Once you drop your luggage off in the hotel room, you are now checked in past the entrance turnstiles with a wristband that only says the day in which you leave the park. And the park is still open and operating for maybe two more hours? Hmm. Once you have relaxed from however you choose to after your travel to the park, you will return back to your room to give it a proper look over. The room itself can easily accommodate a small family, if small means both height and width. The room has a double bed and a bunk bed, which means it's a great room for co-habitual parents with two younger children. However, for an adult group visiting, two of you will have to share the double, whilst the lucky one gets the lower bunk. You can sleep on the top bunk, but its closeness to the ceiling makes it a cramped encounter even when trying to get up and down the ladder. The room also has a TV, a bin, a kettle with tea and coffee, three drawers and a little cubby hole for all your bags, and importantly a few charging sockets to make sure you don't miss out on your social media commitments whilst you're at the park. The other room in the cabin is the toilet. This comes with a sink and shower. The sink does not provide drinking water. That you have to get as a two litre bottle from reception, but they are readily available and understanding if you have a first on. The shower was actually pretty decent and never was cold with a healthy water pressure throughout the wash. Interestingly though, the toilet area and the bedroom share the same floor, which means that the Fort Park shark cabins are self-cleaning. Simply turn on the shower and watch it clean the bedroom floor. With its position on the inside of the park, the shark cabins are very accessible during the days you are visiting the park, meaning that if someone needs to lie down after an intense experience on one of Fort Park's many extreme roller coasters and thrill rides, then they can do so for an hour or two before returning to the group with no hassle at all. In the mornings and evenings when the park is closed, the shark cabins becomes a quite tranquil place to relax, with its actually quite gorgeous view of the lake and gun-like area which is not shown at its best in this drizzly social distancy shot, but I'm not sure if its best is much better. The shark cabins have also tried to create a bit of entertainment in the form of having shark facts hidden around the cabins. However, either due to sheer laziness or a manufacturing error, these facts tend to all be about the Mega Mouth shark having a Mega Mouth, but I cannot say I've forgotten about that crucial information since trying to find all the fact boards. After the park is closed, shark cabin stairs get exclusive access to the dome for the rest of the day. Here, there is a restaurant and bar to socialise at with the infinity bar and grill, along with an arcade on the other side of the dome. The dome is open for park guests until 11pm, and what makes it really special is that you can have access to the balcony and look at all the sleeping rides which would be up there as a main trip highlight for any enthusiast. It is worth spending as much time as possible eating, socialising and taking advantage of the dome before going back to bed. Back in the cabin, despite its location right on the lake, the shark cabin, maybe due to its tiny space, is actually pretty warm internally compared to the external temperatures, as shown by the condensation on the cabin door. But you can get a good night's sleep in those beds, especially if you're not sharing with anyone. To summarise, the Forbes shark cabins were an interesting stay to say the least. The shark cabins were only considered a temporary thing whilst Fort Park planned to build a proper hotel across the lake, and at times it definitely feels like that, especially with the confusion over getting your cabin key, which gives the shark cabin stayers an extra few hours at the park. The site does not look or feel like it gets enough love from the park, as the only accommodation bearing Fort Park's name is cargo container exterior and garden leave a lot to be desired. Considering that the planned hotel is nowhere near being built anytime soon, I hope Fort Park invests a little into the shark cabin's image as well as improving the gardens to provide a bit more entertainment, even if just visually, 
for the guests to enjoy after the park is closed. The shark cabins would be a great place for a family with small kids who want a two day holiday at the resort to stay as it avoids all the hassle of the turnstiles after collection of the keys. It is also worth a night by theme park enthusiasts due to the special feeling of the dome at night and the gorgeous view of the rides. However, if enthusiasts did visit, I would suggest a maximum of three people per room due to the cramped conditions. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts on Thorpe Shark cabins are. And if you do end up staying there, enjoy.